Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. Well, here in the front end of a brand new week, this tune-up could be perceived as a little bit of a downer. However, I want it to be something that gets everyone's attention. Over the weekend, I had one of my viewers contact me. This is a very loyal viewer that watches just about everything I do and always has good feedback. And thought this might be a good topic for conversation and I have a tendency to agree. Over the weekend they had a very good acquaintance of theirs kill themselves. And even over the past week I've been aware of several people who have threatened that even near me. Now the purpose of this tune-up today is to let you know a scenario here. The person that wrote me said this person that killed themselves seemed relatively happy, made a comment over the holidays that they were a little bit lonely. However, we hear that all the time, right? And other people and friends had said, wow, they never had mentioned anything about feeling that way. They just seemed a little quiet. So here's the thing. This could be going on right near you with someone. One of the things I want all of us to be aware of is we have a duty to our fellow human beings to take care of each other in spite of making money, in spite of competition, in spite of our own growth and our own scenarios that go on in our lives. We have a responsibility to pay attention to the people around us even if we don't know them. You know if you see someone stealing something from someone else it's your responsibility to do something about it. Well, around each of us right now, we obviously have a lot of stress, a lot of pressure. There's a lot of things going on in the world. The officials say things are getting better. I've yet to see it. I know a lot of people are out of work. A lot of people have lost their homes. A lot of people are living with their mothers, fathers, or even elderly parents right now because they have nowhere to go, no money. Even if a person is in a good situation themselves, but they're in a situation where this is around them all the time, where this is something they're hearing about all the time, they can slide into depression. And I'm not talking about somebody who's diagnosed with clinical depression. I'm not talking about bipolar. I'm talking about just being depressed. And if a person does not have the internal requisite variety, meaning flexibility to manage those thoughts with himself, it can create a feeling of hopelessness. I want you to take an inventory of all the people around you right now. If you have someone around you that's a little bit distant, kind of isolating themselves. If you have someone near you or close to you that is not acting the way they normally do or doing the things they normally do and it looks like they're kind of retreating, this is a time to come to them and and talk to them. And a lot of times you, you never want to ask somebody what's wrong, just ask what's going on in your life. Act like you're interested. Focus on something that you know makes them feel good and have these conversations. That little thing right there alone can sometimes pull someone through that dark veil of wanting to end their own life. We all have a lot to be thankful for. Every time we wake up in the morning is a blessing, especially at my age. Today, I want us to be aware of our fellow human beings, the people in our families. I know people that have young people in their families that have attempted this on themselves and the parents were completely unaware there was anything wrong. With all the peer pressure going on with our young people, the drug use, the misbehaving, because all of us parents are out working so hard to put a roof over our head, we can't have that person near them all the time to help mentor them. I'm pleading with you today. This is going to get worse before it gets better. And the best thing you can do is to recognize that if you're doing okay, even if you're not, but you're more okay than someone else, then help someone else. Reach out. It's your spiritual duty. It's your human duty. And it's going to make you feel better as well. And it can have a lot to do with keeping you from going there. Also, as we move into this week, the second day of this week, let's take a look at the sunshine in this week, even though it might be raining where you are. 
Let's look at the light in our eyes. Let's look at the light in other people's eyes. And if we do not see light in their eyes, how about you creating it for them? Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary wishing you a very, very, very lovely day. Bye-bye.